Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to talk about crypto right now. Okay. Cause we know that, you know, a lot of things, okay. I want to say a lot of, you know, negative things are in fact happening right now in the crypto space. Okay. So in this video, I just want to talk about it, right. And my personal thoughts, right. On crypto right now, right. With everything that's happening right now. Okay. I'm pretty sure right if you guys are in fact you know in the crypto space right you are in fact you know in cryptocurrency okay you are in fact a investor into this market then you guys would know obviously what is going on right now right in the whole crypto space okay so yeah you know i just want to talk about that and of course i want to talk about like i said my own personal thoughts right now about crypto you know am i still bullish or not so that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So please go down below right now. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. I really would appreciate that. And that being said, let's begin with this video. So we know right now, okay, that FTX, okay, it was in fact, I believe it was like the fourth biggest uh, crypto exchange out there in the whole entire world, right? It was the fourth biggest one, right? FTX is pretty much gone bankrupt okay we know this okay um you know this news happened like i believe it was like a few days ago right like over a week ago now okay but yes guys ftx okay it's just not looking too good at all right even ftt right uh the cryptocurrency coin right for ftx has dropped significantly right so ftt has dropped you know for the past few days it's just dropped significantly you know what i mean like like crazy right and of course ftx the exchange has gone bankrupt okay i'm you know the ceo right sam bankman freed okay um might actually go to jail most likely you know what i mean so yes a lot of negative things are in fact happening right now in the whole crypto space and now guys people are in fact saying that a lot of different you know cryptocurrency exchanges will in fact go bankrupt right a lot of people are in fact saying that qcoin is next and a lot of people are in fact saying right and this is a big one okay this is a big crypto exchange a lot of people are in fact saying that crypto.com is next right so there's a lot of negative things happening right now in the whole entire crypto space and that's what's causing the crypto market to pretty much crash you know bitcoin has obviously crashed significantly right and of course ethereum and pretty much the whole cryptocurrency market has dropped significantly right ever since ftx has gone bankrupt right and all these other negative news talking about you know crypto.com you know it's going to be next to go bankrupt and whatnot you know i mean qcoin and whatnot right there's a lot of um things going around right rumors and all that in the crypto space right now and i don't know if it's true you know what i mean i really don't guys right and i just want to say real quick guys that you know with ft you know with ftx going bankrupt you know I was not affected by this, you know what I mean? I just want to, you know, let you guys know, I live in Australia, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure you can use FTX, right, to buy cryptocurrency here in Australia, okay? Because I know people mainly use it in, you know, America, obviously, right? But here in Australia, okay, I don't use FTX, okay? I don't know anyone that, you know, invests into cryptocurrency uses FTX. We mainly just use, like, Binance or, like, Coinsport. That's what I personally use, you know what I mean? But you know i don't know anyone that actually uses ftx i don't even know if you can actually use ftx to buy cryptocurrency here in australia you know what i mean if you guys do in fact live in australia and you guys use ftx let me know in the comments down below because i personally do not know so yes guys with this whole ftx situation going bankrupt and whatnot you know withdrawals are being on hold right now you know it's like frozen pretty much like what happened with celsius a couple months ago um you know i personally was not affected by this you know what i mean but i know a lot of people out there okay you watching this video right now okay you you probably are most likely affected by this and i just want to say you know i'm sorry you know what i mean like it's just it, it really does in fact suck you know what i mean and lesson note here okay it doesn't matter how big the crypto exchange is guys okay personally i would store your cryptocurrencies in a hard wallet or a cold wallet you know what i mean like a ledger right so it's more um safe right um, then leaving it in a, you know, cryptocurrency exchange, right? It's way more safer that way. You know what I mean? So I just feel like a lot of people out there need to, you know, get, you know, a cold wallet or a hard wallet, right? Get like a little ledger, put your cryptocurrencies in there. I feel like that's like the safest way to store your cryptocurrencies um, 
really safe, especially if you're holding it for long term, right? So yeah, lesson learned here, guys, is to understand that no matter how big a crypto exchange is, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? It really doesn't matter because we know FTX, right? is literally the fourth biggest i'm pretty sure it's the fourth biggest crypto exchange which is massive right and they have gone bankrupt right you know the ceo um you know sam bankman freed right he was in fact a billionaire you know his net worth was about over 20 billion i believe like 22 billion 22 billion dollars right but he's no longer a billionaire you know what i mean he really isn't right so it's crazy, right? Times like this are crazy. You know what I mean? Honestly, I can't even believe it as well. It was really just unexpected as well. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when Terra Luna Classic, right? When Terra Luna crashed, that was unexpected, really unexpected. But this, right? For FTX, okay? One of the biggest crypto exchanges out there to go bankrupt was really unexpected. Okay, so this is just really unexpected. It happened so quick, right? And when this news came out, obviously FTT, right um dropped significantly right and of course the whole cryptocurrency market you know what i mean um so honestly guys personally okay with this whole you know negative things that are in fact happening right now in the whole crypto space it's not really affecting me okay i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you guys but i know for a fact that obviously it's you know this situation is obviously affecting a lot of people like thousands you know hundreds and thousands of people you know most likely millions, right? Um, so I just want to say real quick, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, lesson learned here, okay, to never trust a crypto exchange, no matter, you know, no matter how big it is, you know what I mean? Always store it in a hard wallet or a cold wallet, right? Personally, that's just what I would do, you know what I mean? Um, especially if you're investing long term, right? So always do your own research, guys. But guys, listen, the question here is with this, you know, with everything that's going on right now, okay, with FTX going bankrupt okay and a lot of people and rumors are in fact saying that you know qcoin is next and you know crypto.com which is also another massive crypto exchange okay uh they will in fact be next going you know bankrupt right i don't know if it's true yet right it's just a lot of rumors that's going around so there's obviously a lot of negative things that's going around in the whole crypto space does that make me bearish or bullish right so obviously guys it honestly does in fact make me bullish you know what i mean i'm not bearish at all okay i know for a fact that you know with bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market we have dropped significantly especially this year in 2022 we have dropped a lot right we all know that yes we had a few pumps but majority of the time we have dropped okay we've been seeing crashes and dumps majority of the time okay I'm telling you this right now, I really do believe in the next few years, okay, we will in fact bounce back up, okay? Like Bitcoin's gonna bounce back up to its previous all time highs and of course reach a new all time high. Same with Ethereum and the same with other altcoins, right? Majority of altcoins in the whole cryptocurrency market, okay? It will in fact bounce back up. You guys have to understand, okay, there's different cycles to this, okay? There's different cycles to this, you know, we are obviously right now. Are in fact in a bear market okay just last year we were in fact in a bull market right um but you know during these times okay in a bear market yes it's not good you know what i mean it's not looking too good at all right so i'm saying this is right now this is obviously the time to dollar cost average to buy to invest to accumulate right i've been telling us this many times literally just yesterday you know i bought some bitcoin i literally invested almost twenty thousand dollars into bitcoin just bitcoin alone right if you guys don't believe me check out yesterday's video titled i'm going all in on bitcoin cheese please watch that video okay i feel like that video is really 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 important okay and it just proves to you guys that i'm actually going all in on bitcoin right and that's my proof of i am in fact you know bullish right with bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market right if i wasn't bullish right if i was bearish right why would i invest you know 17 you know almost twenty thousand dollars right almost twenty thousand dollars into bitcoin twenty thousand dollars to me guys is a lot of money you know what i mean it really is right that's like literally buying a new car and i just invested that yesterday into bitcoin just bitcoin alone right so what i'm trying to say here is, is that you know if i am in fact you know if i was in fact bearish right i wouldn't invest that type of money into bitcoin okay so obviously guys i am clearly bullish okay i am 
I know for a fact Bitcoin will one day will in fact bounce back up. Same with Ethereum and majority of other altcoins in the whole market, right? In the whole crypto market. Okay. So I still remain bullish, guys, right? Even though, yes, you know, crypto right now in the whole crypto space, it's just there's just a lot of you know negative things going around. Um, you know, a lot of rumors and whatnot. Okay. But this is all short term, you know what I mean? I really do believe in the next, you know, few months, right? Maybe a year from now or even two years, everything's going to look even better than when it is now, right? I know that for a fact. Bitcoin's going to bounce back up. Ethereum's going to bounce back up. You know, I really do believe that maybe in 2024 or even 2025, you know, that's about two to three years from now, we will in fact, you know, break out of this bear market that we're currently in right now, have a bull run, and we will in fact you know, run back up to the bull markets, right? We're going to be seeing Bitcoin reach well above $100,000. That's just my own personal opinion. Okay, that's my price prediction for Bitcoin, right? In the next few years, I do in fact see Ethereum at, you know, maybe $10,000, $15,000, maybe even higher than that, right? $20,000 per, per Ethereum. I do in fact see that happening, right? But time will tell, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's harsh times right now. So, Everyone is obviously extremely fearful, and I've told you guys this many times, when everyone else is fearful, we got to do the complete opposite. We're going to be greedy. This is obviously the time to buy, guys. Okay, if you guys are wondering, right, like, when should I buy some Bitcoin? When should I buy some Ethereum? You know what I mean? When should I start investing into the, into the cryptocurrency market? You should be doing that now, right? It's obviously a perfect time right now to buy, but obviously we all know that, you know, Bitcoin and the whole crypto market is going to crash even more. Okay, there's going to be another free fall, more downside um, to, you know, the market, right? Bitcoin is going to drop, you know, $13,000, $12,000, $10,000, maybe even potentially lower than that, right? Same with Ethereum. You know, we're going to see Ethereum go way below $1,000, 100%. You know, it's going to reach $900, $800, maybe even $700 as well, right? So when, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum reaches these low price targets that I just mentioned. I'm going all in. I'm investing heavy like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so yes, guys, I still remain bullish. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts right now with crypto? That's my thoughts. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go down below right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are your personal thoughts right now with crypto? Okay, let me know and be honest. So that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Go down below right now, give this video a huge thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. I really would appreciate that, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.